Ready to build some biceps? Good thing it's leg day because we're gonna use the prone hamstring machine to destroy the biceps femoris. Lying leg curls are simple. You just curl your legs and that's all there is to it, right? Wrong. Once the basic full range of motion has been taught and executed properly, Coach Mark and Coach Colt have found it makes more sense to use this machine for what it's best for, the contraction. For this reason, we'll be focusing on the pump and not the stretch of the hamstrings, but we'll accomplish this by not locking out so you can keep the tension on the biceps femoris, that is, the lower part of your hamstrings that make your thighs look thick from the side. We'll work the stretch position of the exercise at the end of your last set. Until then, we're focusing on the contraction. You can always emphasize the stretch later in your workout with an exercise such as stiff leg deadlifts. Scoring well on a side chest or back double bicep pose depends heavily on symmetrical hamstring development and that's how you're going to get it. If your training program has you doing standard sets and reps, pick a weight that causes you to fail around 12 to 15 slow and controlled reps. At the end of your last set is where you relax your hamstrings into a full stretch by flexing your quads. Hold this position for 10 to 20 seconds. It should hurt. Then when you're done, you can move on to the next exercise. If you're using low volume, high intensity training, perform two light warmups and a visually image your hamstrings being pumped with a little more blood in each contraction. Then double your load for a couple heavy warmup sets consisting of either doubles or singles. Now you should have a good idea for how much weight you can curl for your one and only failure set. So we're doing hamstring curls to failure. I'm gonna be focusing on the pump the entire time until I fail. I'm gonna do eight parcels in the top for the pump and then eight parcels in the stretch. I'm gonna hold the stretch for about 10 seconds. That'll be the last one. And uh, this is gonna hurt real bad. <laughs> Your rep scheme is gonna be 12 to 15 reps to complete failure. Once you can't get any more, dig deep and get three more anyways. Mark and Colt have a way of making you get more reps than you think you can. Personally, when I train alone, I pretend that my son or daughter's life depends on those three reps. You'll surprise yourself with what you're really capable of when you give it everything you have. Once you've hit concentric failure, perform eight partials at the top and then slowly lower the weight to your stretch for eight more partials. Just because you can't do any more full reps doesn't mean you can't do anything at all. Your legs can keep going. Finish the set with an isometric hold on the stretch. This is important to work the hamstrings to their full range of motion and encourage growth and recovery through the entire muscle. Remember, the goal is to always use as little weight as possible to give you as much stimulus to make that muscle grow. Let those gym rats throw the heavy weights around. If you want big hamstrings, you've got to work the muscle. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. If you ever find yourself in Great Falls, Montana, you got to go check out Peak Health and Wellness. It's an awesome gym. Keep it locked in here at Skull Bells TV for weekly workout training videos. And if you ever need some leg day motivation, check out session number 16 on our Carnivore Coaches Corner podcast, where the guys explain why we're not fans of barbell squats and how we otherwise teach how to train legs. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you later.